Hi, I'm Lloyd Walker from Walker Audio, and I'm here to share tip number 10 of 10 on how to get better sound from your audio system. And tip number 10 is how to get the best sound from your turntable. Now, this is a subject that's near and dear to my heart. So, as you know, I'm a very much an analog fan. So, I'm assuming you have an arm that you can adjust the azimuth and the VTA and tracking force on. So, we're going to take it there. When you're setting up your cartridge, set the VTA about where the manufacturer recommends. Set the tracking force at its midpoint. For instance, if he says 1.8 to 2.2, set it for 2. It will not stay there, but it's a good starting point. Next, I recommend that it, you at least use a FOSGO meter and test record to set the azimuth correctly. This is very, very important. As stylus shapes, some of them are more critical than others to this. The more complex it is, the more important this becomes. Now, once you get that set, next step is adjust the VTA until your test record sounds its best. I suggest that you use classical or complex jazz so you can hear the full frequency frequency spectrum. Adjust the VTA until you get the best sound. If it is to lean in the bass, lower the VTA. If it is too stringent on the high frequencies, also lower the VTA. Now, if you're lacking high frequencies, raise the VTA. If your bass is bloated and boomy, raise the VTA. Now once you get this set correctly, then you want to fine tune the tracking force. Use the same record so you can hear the changes. And uh, if you would like a little more body, a little more bass to the music, slightly increase the tracking force in small amounts until you start to lose your high frequencies. If the high frequencies are dropping off and the bass is starting to get bloated, same thing lighten the tracking force slightly. Then you'll hear your harmonics hang nice and airily and very delicately in the air. That's when you know you've got the tracking force correct for the high frequencies. And if the body of the music is still there, you're home free. If the body of the music isn't there, you might want to add just a touch more tracking force. Now once that is done, it would be good to take a tracking force meter and read what your tracking force is and write it down somewhere so you can return to it at any given time. Now after this cartridge breaks in you will need to go back and fine-tune this. Now you'll only change the VTA slightly or change the tracking force slightly. But what is important is that you change the VTA for thicker and thin records. Uh, the difference can be quite incredible. Now, with that said, you've got your cartridge set up correctly. There's many other things you can do to get better sound from your turntable. Uh, if you do not have a motor controller and it's an AC motor, you might want to consider one. We make one. Take a look at the website. You also might want to look at some kind of resonance control. You might want to look at some kind of electrical noise control. We have covered this in earlier tips. So take a look at our website and see what's available. You might want to consider a record clamp. We also make one of those. But anyway, everything you do, once this table is set up, will just give you better and better sound. So that is tip number 10 of 10, setting up your turntable. Enjoy the music. If you have any questions or you need any help, feel free to email us or call us. We're here to help. Enjoy your music. Thank you.